My brain tech year where tech is made simple. So in March of this year, I posted letting you know that the internet speed test tool could be returning to the side panel and the sidebar in Microsoft Edge. And that's because in Edge Canary 124, which back then was the latest preview version, Microsoft had reintroduced the internet speed test as a productivity tool in the sidebar. Now, just to let you know that in the stable version now, version 123, it seems Microsoft now is pushing out the internet speed test now to the stable. And I noticed uh, today in my region on both my devices in Microsoft Edge, and that's Edge stable and also Edge in preview that the internet speed test now uh, seems to be rolling out now across the board. And this seems to be a server side update and not attached to any recent update. It wasn't there yesterday. Edge hasn't been updated and it's here today. So this obviously is using a server side update. Now, one or two things just to take note about this. Um, this was a tool that was previously available and then they pulled it and now it's back. And it's not it's native to the site panel. So it's not like calculator that you can use as an example in the site panel. If you click start, it takes you over to Ookla Internet Speed Test Online. And as I've mentioned previously, it's not very accurate. Uh, that is not a true reflection of my internet speed. And I have seen a couple of comments after I posted when it was in preview that um, there was a, a couple of viewers of this channel who also tested it out and said it wasn't very accurate. So although it's rolling out to as a new feature, internet speed test uh, in the stable version at this stage, uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, very accurate, but hopefully Microsoft will work on that. And I would have preferred it to be native to the site panel, um, but not the case. It opens up uh, online in the main body um, on Ookla's speed test by Ookla on that site. So a bit unfortunate there, but nonetheless, um, uh, this may, may be a nice handy addition um, for some users. Obviously, at this stage, um, it's not that reliable when it comes to actually measuring your download and upload speed and latency and ping and so on. But nonetheless, this is rolling out now to the stable version and just wanted to let you know in case you were unaware. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.